Hi, did it ever happen to you that you forgot to irrigate your garden and you only discovered after your plants started dying? Well, there is a very simple solution called automatic irrigation system. Today I'm going to show you how to install one and how to use it. I used to work with a one valve irrigation system, but the problem with that is that the entire garden will get the same amount of water. And I found out that I need at least three different uh, irrigation programs. For instance, I have a part that is in full sun the entire day. I have a part that is uh, shaded and I have also my pots and uh, everything need a different way of irrigation and now i've chosen for the smart garden from netafim it's an israeli based company as we know the israelis they are the best in irrigation systems and they are the best in uh, saving water in irrigation um, it's a very light box if you open it you can see all the electronics in it it is battery operated you put in two aa batteries and you have the possibility to control six valves and the main valve. So I can say you can control seven valves. What does the valve look like? Well, like this, it's very solid. Uh, it's also hand operated if you want. You are able to open it, you can close it, and you can put it on automatic. Automatic means that this system is going to control it according to what you program in uh, the application on your cell phone. Um, furthermore, uh, you need to have a manifold in order to connect the valves uh, to the water system. You have to be very careful to look where the arrow is. And that means that the water comes over in here and goes out there. If I have the manifold, I connect this one to the tap then it means that I have to connect the valve this way and the irrigation system, the lines of the irrigation system have to come out here. So you also need a manifold. You have manifolds of two, you have manifolds of three, four. And what I did is to take the two and to take this one. It's a separate one. Um, and I can change the direction. This is the old system. You see, this is a single timer connected to the valve and there is only one line going outside. So I'm going to close the tap. And it is closed. And then I'm going to Take off the one liner. And that's it. Always check if it's dry. And that's it. I advise you to first install the valves and only afterwards um, to install the, the computer. So this is a three quarter inch and this is, a, this is an inch. So I needed this one. They already told me that I should put some Teflon tape on it. So that's what we're going to do. And we will put this one on it. And now for this one, we don't need the Teflon. Now I would like this valve to go this way because that's the sunny part. And then this is the a shaded part of the garden and uh, all the pots outside. Uh, 
I want to connect this to the wall because you can see it's a little bit wobbly and so what I want to do is put this one in the wall Okay, that's it for the time being. Um, now I need to connect the valves. And again, you have to watch the arrow over here. So that means that this one needs to be connected like this. Water will flow from this side to this side. And they told me because there is a rubber ring over here, I don't need any Teflon. So now I have one, two, three valves. Um, looks like it's very strong. Close, close, close. And let's open it. And as you can see, they're closed. I can try to open this one a little bit. Also this one, and also this one. Let's see where the lines go to. They're pretty long. So uh, that's good. I'm able to place the box over here. The connector box and then the smart garden on top of it. I think that might be the correct thing to do. And now this one. We have the three valves. This one I already connected because I, of course I couldn't stay one day without irrigation. The lines are already in this box. Okay, so I've connected the computer. I still didn't put in the batteries, but I'm going to put this cable through the junction box. And because they are on the top, in the end I'm going to put some silicon over here to be sure that no water will get into the box. Straight these out. Come on. And put them in the hole. Um, First of all, because I'm not using all of them, I have two, four, six, where's number four, 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 this is number four, 
and I think the other one is now the other four is gone. I right have. I'm not going to use these, so I'm going to put a tie rip on it around this. Okay, now I can check which belt. Take a nine volt battery. And close. So this one is the first one. You just turned a nine volt battery. So this is belt one, two, three, one, and one. So I'm going to connect the black one with the black one and the red one with the red one. I'm going to try is gel connectors I have to put it straight and this one and then press it and that's it these are the good ones from 3m this one over here put it in this one over here and press and check they're connected. I'm going to put in the batteries. And okay, you see a control light over here, so it's operating. I will turn on Smart Garden. Um, scan. Press the Bluetooth symbol and the Smart Garden will appear on your screen. Now you will press the Smart Garden and your application will connect to your computer. If you do this for the first time, it will ask you to enter a code. This code is 1234. Only later on you will be able to change this code. After the application has connected to the computer, you will see the six valves. I took the opportunity to change the names of the three first valves. In order to change the name, you just press the name and then you will be able to type a new name. For the first valve, I chose to write down Shadow Garden. The second valve I called Containers and the third valve I decided to call Sunny Garden. After changing the names of the valves, press Settings in the top left side of the screen and you will see the name of the computer the code which is 1234 and you can change it over here the serial number and you will see the amount of valves my amount of valves is three so i chose three after changing the quantity of valves it will restart the connection you will press the scan again and you will be reconnected after reconnecting press settings again and scroll through the settings menu change wherever you want after pressing the arrow next to the valve name, you will be able to change the duration of the irrigation, the times you want to irrigate, and also the days. Finally, you will be able to add pictures of the garden next to the valve names. And you're ready. And so we have finished installing our smart garden, including the three valves. The only thing you still have to do is to install pipes to your garden and connect them to sprinklers and drippers. Next to the main pipe leading from your valves to the different parts in your garden, 
you need a puncher, microtubes, connectors like this angle connector and the straight one. You need different drippers like the regular drippers, splitters, angle arrowed dripper for your containers and of course the end of the line adapter. Bigger parts of your garden you need sprinklers. These you can get in 90, 180 and 360 degrees. For a better irrigation around the stem you can use the net bound for instance for your roses or your blueberries. For my containers I mostly use the angle arrow dripper. Thanks for watching and if you like the video please don't forget to press the like, subscribe and the bell and you will get an update every time I upload a new video. Hope to see you next time. Thank you.